While you should never judge a game by its graphics, I'm not necessarily too thrilled about Dragoon that's now available on the PlayStation 4. But does this one end up surprising me, or is this just another stinker on the system? Dragoon is an action hack and slash game from the creators of Skylight Free Range. If you are familiar with that RPG that I played last year, it was not necessarily a very exciting experience with one of the most convoluted battle systems and ugliest graphics. A lot of the character models look identical to the ones that we saw in Skylight Free Range here in Dragoon. The game does feature an impressive 40 character roster, and you're able to select 3 characters to jump into an endless dungeon. From here, you travel from room to room that really only varies in color and texture of the platforms you're jumping on, with a variety of monsters increasing in difficulty the more levels you make it in. Every 5 levels, you'll face off with a boss, which is just another one of the random characters from the game. If you're able to defeat them, you can save your progress and continue onwards, in which case if you end up game Overing, you can load back to wherever you last defeated a boss, so every five levels you kind of have a checkpoint system. The game does feature multiple difficulties, and since it is an endless dungeon, you can play forever, and there are a few other modes as well. The combat itself, though, is just so clunky. It just seems like nothing is working correctly. Each character kind of works on their own throwing attacks and just lucky enough if your hitboxes end up hitting. It looks very awkward, it's glitchy, you're constantly going through one another, and timing is all over the place when it comes to one of the only interesting aspects, the blocking system. The attacking and combat in general though is very simple. Each character only has a couple of attacks. Some can aim and fire out in different directions, but for the most part you just have a basic attack, a strong attack, and then a special berserk-like attack that you can unleash once you fill up a meter. Don't get me wrong, it is fun at first to try out some of these new characters, and I was surprised at the variety that was included here considering just how poor the overall experience was, and that's why I think some will end up enjoying this game at least for a small bit of time. The other modes included here include Onslaught and Skirmish. Onslaught is just you select a character and take on wave after wave of endless enemies, seeing how long you're able to survive. The skirmish mode has you setting up an encounter against up to three enemies, you can select the difficulty and the like, and there's also challenges with 40 of them for each individual character, as well as some ones that you can do with any of the characters, though there isn't a lot of depth to these. From the technical side of things though, the game didn't crash on me, it just really wasn't that fun to play, and it's kind of a clunky mess overall. Dragoon is available now on the PS4 and PlayStation Vita for $9.99. It does feature cross-buy, so if you buy it on one, you get it on the other. And it does have a full trophy list, including a platinum, which will take quite a bit of time to do, as you'll have to complete a variety of challenges with each character. Dragoon is much better as far as a gaming experience for me than Skylight Free Range was last year. However, it's really hard to recommend this game, especially at the $9.99 price tag. If you can get it on sale and it looks even remotely interesting to you, you may end up enjoying it for a bit of time. But with everything said, I'm going to be giving Dragoon a 3 out of 10. But anyway guys, it's going to wrap up this review. I like thank you for watching and of course, I hope you enjoyed.